What's going on guys, the Barber Phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and in today's cut as you can tell my model is looking mad rough. It's been several haircuts since we cut the top. He has got extremely thick hair and so you know I had my work cut out for me. I thought we were going to have to shear cut the whole top. That was what we initially decided on but as you guys will tell right here I wet the hair down. I was prepared to do shears. He actually pulled up a picture from his phone, uh, a Google image that he liked. Um, lined up in the front pretty short textured so I decided to throw an eight guard on there take the magic clip run it through here over and over and over again and I'll be honest once I got back to the crown area his hair texture as thick as it is and as long as it was the magic clip was not cutting it so we actually pulled out JT fade it's um, that's his gamma ergo and the gamma went right through it didn't have any issues so I, I was glad to, uh, to be able to get that done and get it all even uh, so what we're going to do next is go ahead and start fading the side and I left this side in real time I didn't speed it up at all now based off of my particular clients head shape right here I know that I can take a two guard this is my cordless senior modified with the Andes master blade and I have the ceramic cutting blade so it is a little bit more zero gap due to it being the ceramic cutting blade but I have the two guard, I have it open, and I'm taking this guard and I'm going straight up the side of his head, keeping that guard flush to it. And then when I get up to the top at the frontal ridge, I'm just letting that guard float right off the side of his head, scooping out some. That's going to leave weight there and leave some darkness that we can fade up into, but not leave it too heavy, um, but leave a nice squared shape at the same time. So we're going to continue to do that. I'm just kind of freehanding up through there a little bit making sure that we're constantly combing that hair back down into place and then here in a second I'm actually going to grab a three guard it's a little darker there in that connecting area especially right around where we're at right here um, so we're using that we're going to take that three guard lighten that up some and then we will continue fading down from there So I started with that three guard initially all the way open. You saw me just close it up halfway and we just drop down just a little bit and then we'll drop it down all the way and that will eventually connect into that open two guard that we initially ran up the side there uh, and started with. But it was just a little bit darker right above where that two guard was floating up and off the head than what I would like to leave it. So that's why you, you, know, you see that, make an adjustment, grab out the guard that you know or you think will take care of it, knock it out and be done with it. And go on to the next step now we've got the two guard back in hand clean up a spot or two I'm gonna do just a, a light um, front vertical bar here just to kind of give a, a reference there on that fade and then pick a spot that I want to do the bald line we're gonna do it mid to high uh, it's not super high but it's also definitely not a, a low fade um, kind of right there in the middle of the C cup arch it up just a little bit and then drop it down a tad bit in the back we're gonna tap this FX line in. He has got super coarse, super thick hair. So I'm actually gonna flip it over, um, go down, uh, I guess with the growth of the hair there, just to give some separation. And then from here, we'll be able to go ahead and start fading up from that. We're gonna start things off like usual. We're gonna take the Slimline Pro Li, and I'm gonna make basically a very small section, if you will, with the Slimline. We're just going to flick out that initial FX bald line. That way, whenever we come in in just a minute, our closed clipper will be able to take out this slim line, and we don't have to worry about coming in later with a, you know, uh, the original trimmer that we put it in, which is the FXs, and take it out. This step is done. We shouldn't have to worry about trimmers anymore. We can just get right into the fade and be done with it. So we're going to start things off. This is the metal magic clip. I have the lever wide open and we're going to create about a three-fourths to an, to an inch section here with the lever all the way open. And then we will close this lever up halfway. And we'll take that half, that half open lever about halfway to three-fourths of the way through this initial open section. 
making sure that every time we come up through there, we, fl we flick out. We want, we want every stroke to not leave a line, or that's the end goal, is every stroke to just kind of disappear, not leave lines, not you know create more work for later, and then we'll close it up all the way, and that should, at the very bottom there, that will take out that slim line, bald section that we put in there. Uh, and then from that point on, you can just kind of open and close the lever, just hit dark spots throughout that fade there, make sure that you get it cut to color. Now what we're going to try to do is start connecting that open section up to the two guard that we left off with earlier. This is the uh, this is the Andy's one guard. I've got it closed and I'm just kind of trying to flick up through there, trying to eliminate some steps if possible. Um, this is the zero guard. We're going to try to connect that open section to the one guard that we just did. Uh, we're going to start with it open. Then we will close it up halfway, close it up all the way, and continue to drop down, uh, lower down as we go. And as we move down, that's how you, when you start moving down, you start closing that lever up more and more. And that's how you get that fading down technique. Right here, basically, we're just trying to flick through here. Any dark spots, any hints of lines, we're trying to, we're trying to tap through there. Um, we've got the lever all the way closed, and I'm really just rocking my wrist through there, trying to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't create any more work than what we have to. Uh, just kind of softening up this area. And then we can come back in in a minute. Uh, this is the Magic Clip, and I have the Wall Premium Half Guard. This is going to connect into that Andy Zero Guard that we just left off with. And if we need to, we'll take off this guard, open the lever all the way up, and just use the corners of an open blade, really pinpoint spots. Uh, just use the corner of, of that blade, get little, little spots here and there, and that'll really bring that fade all the way together. And that's what we're doing here. We're just kind of floating that through there, making sure that you know all we're doing is hitting the spots that we want to. We don't want to create a whole new section. We don't want to push this fade up anymore. All we're wanting to do is just use the corners, hit those spots, and continue on. Now it was a little bit bulky here still from the top, and that's probably because you're, you know you're cutting an extremely long length up top with uh, with an eight guard, so it does leave it a little. Uh, uneven at times uh, at least his hair texture does so we're just doing a little bit of clipper over comb remove some of those longer hairs and you know we'll get right in to continuing on here this is the wall premium one and a half guard uh, we're just trying to really continue to lighten that up just a tad bit it's a little darker than uh, than I might like but that is the way the picture uh, that he showed me kind of looked so we're not too far off of what the end go is. This is the one guard uh, from the wall premium set. We're just still trying to lighten up a couple areas. Back to that open, no guard, just that lever wide open, hitting some spots, continuing to fade the color. So in the back, we're going to go ahead and start in the crown area by using the cordless senior modify with the Andy's Master Blade. We've got a two guard. I went down with the growth of the hair. Now we're just flicking up through here, uh, basically into the same area that we just left off at. This is kind of the middle section of this fade. We're really just removing a lot of the bulk and then we will connect this to where we just went down with the growth of the hair with that two guard. This is the three guard. We're just going to flick up through there. This is going to be that connecting. Uh, section to the top really give it that transition from you know the two guard up into the three up into the weight from here once we've got this sec this part of the section done we can go ahead and set in that bald line and start fading that out So 
I'm going to continue to fade down on this side before we sit in the ball line. This is the uh, this is the Andy's one guard wide open. We're just kind of flicking up into that two guard we just left off at. Then this is the zero guard just below where we left off with that one guard. We're starting with it open and then we're going to just slowly work our way down. Now that we've gotten that, that color down to where we know we like it to be, we can go ahead and set in the ball line in the same exact spot that we did on that right side. Flip the trimmer over, go ahead and set in that ball line uh, even more so that we're, it's out of the way. Flick that FX ball line out with the Slimline Pro Li. This is not really a, it's not really a section. All you're doing is just using the Slimline to really eliminate any steps later on that involve trimmers and and flicking at really hard lines or anything like that. Now that you've got that section set in there we're going to do our open section with no guard like i said earlier about a half an inch to three-fourths of an inch wide and just flicking out every time you come up through there now i started to speed it up you know you've got your lever half open then you get your lever all the way all the way closed that's going to take that out you guys can see that fade starting to really come together there same as the other side, you're just really going to use that open blade to be able to pinpoint certain spots that you want to work on. And then I definitely let this side speed up quite a bit. So I'm going to take a minute, let you guys check this out in, in some real speed up time. Guys, take a second while this is uh, sped up here. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and take a second if you if you can. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And enable those notifications, that way you never miss another video. So the picture that he showed me, the guy did have it lined up in the front, so we took the comb, combed all that down into place. I've got my magic clip here all the way closed. Um, we combed the hair down into place. I paid attention to where his vertical bars are. I lifted that front area up just to make sure that we didn't get into his hairline, his actual hairline any. All we want to do is just be hitting the longer hairs uh, that hang over. So make sure you always pay attention to that. You lift that hair, the bangs up, you look at where his actual hairline is, and then uh, that's how far you know you can go up into this, but still get a nice crisp line at the same time. So here, because we didn't point cut the top and we use an actual guard, we're going to use the 13T blending shears or chunking shears or, or point cutting shears, however you want to describe them. Uh, I'm working from corner to corner, thinning out the hair, but it's also uh, really texturing it. I'm adding some texture spray now, and then we're going, to com we're going to combo that by using the diffuser attachment on my Dyson blow dryer. Um, Guys, take a second. If you haven't already checked out that 245 Online Academy link that, that's in the description of any of my videos, take a second, check out that description. Uh, some of these techniques that I'm using come straight from the guys that are on that academy, like Chris Bazio, Drake Cut It Out, Get Beam, Sean Cuts Hair, and S Craft Blends. There's a lot of knowledge that gets dropped on that academy. You guys will definitely be able to take some stuff away from that. So now that we've done the diffuser attachment, I'm taking some just normal pomade, really putting it in there, working it around, really chopping it up with my fingers. And as you guys can tell, this is a massive transformation. I really like the way this haircut turned out. Make sure that you guys hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this haircut. If it's a haircut that you see coming through your shop at all, if it's a haircut that you personally like, don't like, have done before, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead, take a second, hit that subscribe button. It ain't going to hurt you none. I put out content every Sunday and every Wednesday. That's the schedule right now. Guys, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Consider subscribing if you're new. And enable those notifications. That way you never miss another video. And guys, I really like the way this one turned out. I hope you guys do agree as well. Let me know in those comment section, guys. And until the next video, I appreciate it.